Hi there guys, so today's video we're going to look at the lean back. Some people call it the pull back or the lay back, uh, I call it, or even step back. I'm going to call it the lean back though. The version that I teach our guys does actually involve a step as well. So the lean back then, is to take you out of range of maybe a jab or a backhand, but generally a jab takes you out of range and then gets your back straight in range and being able to counter punch quickly and effectively. So what you'll find most people when they start doing the lean back, do is they literally will do as I said they'll lean back so they'll be in a boxing stance and then the shot will be thrown and they'll try to lean back like this as you can see the, the back is arched it's uncomfortable it also means you can't really come back in with any kind of power with a counter punch and on top of all of that it puts you off balance so if you don't quite get the range just right and you're tagged somewhere it doesn't matter if it's the chin or the chest it doesn't matter it's going to knock you off balance okay as soon as you're off balance your rounds come away Okay, so when we teach the lean back here, it is almost like a step back. So the lead leg stays in range. As the shot comes in, we do a little bit, we a little bit back. So we lean back slightly, but we also step back. Okay, this means the weight is generally just sat just off center on the back leg a little bit, but we're able then to come straight back in with a counter right or a counter left if you're a southpaw. So again, we take a little step back and then we throw the shot. Okay, that little step just allows us to be out of range, definitely. Chin down, but then to step straight back in with the right foot, um, with the right hand. You'll notice that the lead leg doesn't move. So we're in range, we're in range, step, throw, back in. Again, step, throw, okay? So that allows us then to maybe throw, as we come back in, boom, boom, a left hook. Some people may drop the lead hand, but they feel it allows them um, greater balance to come back in with the right hand. That's absolutely fine. Um, so I may keep it a little bit higher, all right? The key is to keep the weight just off center, maybe on the back foot, not to actually lean back, okay? You're offering too much and you're off balance. Step back, counter punch. You can do it in front. So again, step back, boom, throw the shot. Step back, throw. Okay, it's just that little bouncing motion that you wanna, you wanna get used to. So you don't wanna plant on the foot when you step back, just a bounce and then come back in. Bounce back in. Bounce back in. Okay, that's the motion. I mean, you can practice that at home easily. On the toe, shot comes in, bounce, boom, straight back in with your counter shot. And bounce, boom, but straight back in. Boom, boom, straight back in. As you get better at that drill, you can then progress it a little bit when you set the left hook up. So instead of bouncing straight back, you can turn, boom, and you can come back in with that left hook. Boom, 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 boom. All right, different ways to set up. Or set up different shots. So that's the lean back. The most important thing, like I said, is you don't just lean back and leave the feet where they are, then your weight's all off. You take a little step and come straight back in with a counter shots. Bounce, boom. Bounce, back. All right? That's your lean back, your lay back, your step back, your pull back, whatever you want to call it, that's what it is. All right, so practice that. Get used to firing a counter right or a left hook straight back in after. Um, but making sure you're not just leaning the body back, just taking a little step and keeping, and keeping yourself balanced and able to kind of punch. Right, so I hope that was of some use to you guys. Uh, get practicing it, uh, drill it, the more you do it, like we say, the more you do it outside the ring, the more chance you have of doing it when it counts inside the ring. We've got some programs coming out real soon, including pad work drills, uh, which you might be interested in, so, so stay tuned. We'll put some stuff on this channel, we'll put some stuff on our page and our website, so make sure that you do follow us across all platforms on social media, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, we're on it all. So make sure that you do follow us, and um, we've got some great programs coming out that you can do at home, or you might be able to do with a partner. All right, so again, hope you enjoyed the video, and watch out for the stuff that we've got coming up real soon.